wig and I'm gonna leave two videos linked in the cards of how I make wigs and also how I dyed this hair specifically this copper color this hair is from long key and I'll leave all the information in the description box so I'm just starting off by brushing out the hair and then bringing it all to the front and I'm gonna take one half and put a little hair tie right where I want to cut it at and then I'm going to try to even them up to make sure both sides are even once I cut it. But I had to go to the bathroom mirror to make sure it was good because my mirror is small that I was using. I'm using cutting shears to cut the hair. and You can find these at your local beauty supply store. But I'm just going to cut it right underneath where I put the little hair tie at. And then once I took the bands off, I was like, okay, this is kind of nice. And then I got excited about, you know, how it was going to turn out. But yeah anyways so then I'm going to just section by section take the hair and just clip the ends and honestly I'm not a professional hairstylist or anything but I've seen people do this and I feel like what it does is make the ends look less blunt because I did cut it all like in one section so just to make it look a little bit less blunt I'm gonna just snip the ends in an upward motion with my cutting shears and the look I was going for was kind of like a blunt long bob so I didn't do too much of it but you can kind of tell the difference from the left side and the right side it's not so blunt so then I'm gonna just do the same thing section by section on the right side and this is how it looks I honestly think it would be cute if I just like flat ironed it and wore it like that but I was going for curls this time but then I'm going to take some tweezers and just pluck the part and I could have done way more on this part honestly after the video I went in and did it some more I was just mainly focused on the front so that I didn't have that line of demarcation from my forehead to the wig so just plucking a little bit of hair out but I did go back and do more after this video then I'm going to take some heat protectant and just spray that on my hair section by section before I curl it using this Tool Science curling wand. I'll leave all the products listed in the description box. And the first few curls did not turn out that good, maybe because of the angle and me trying to get in the back of my head. But I did get the hang of it. I just sprayed the heat protectant, brushed it through, and then wrapped the hair around the curling wand in like medium size sections I didn't want to do it too small I did end up taking some sections that were a little bit too big and it didn't curl right so then I had to end up splitting it in half and curling it one by one and then it turned out better but I was going like both directions when I was curling this hair so both clockwise and counterclockwise because I really wasn't going for anything that was like really uniform I just wanted some curls in the hair and really I wanted it to be more wavy than anything so I wasn't really focused on getting like a tight curl and at the front I feel like I should have wrapped the hair the opposite direction so I'll go back and fix this, but I should have wrapped it away from my face instead of towards my face. Just in the front, that's the only place that really mattered. But yeah, that's how the curls ended up looking on one side, and then I just went around and finished on the other side. And you see, I'm wrapping the hair away from my face on that side. And this is how it looks overall. Obviously, the back, I didn't get that good, but apparently I wasn't really worried because I looked at it and... Once I saw it in the video, I feel like it looked worse than when I looked in the mirror. But honestly, it looks really good in the front, so I wasn't too pressed. And now, since I am going for like more of like a wave type effect, I'm just running my hands through the curls to make it look a little more effortless. And then I'm going to go back and curl those curls on the left side away from my face to make it look like the other side. Then I'm going to take this dimming brush and brush the curls out even more just because I don't want it to look really perfect i want it to look like effortless little waves then i'm gonna take a little bit of concealer which is like the same color of my scalp and put it right 
at the front just again trying to make sure that I don't have that line of demarcation from my forehead to the wig and I didn't take it all the way down the part but you definitely can to make it look a little more uniform but anyways that's how I transformed this wig from this to this and I really really love how it turned out I have been wearing this wig out